everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery. Got a great new product for you to tell you about. And of course, I got a special guest here, Simon Fairweather. Simon, you got a brand new bear bow tab here. Let's tell people about this. It's finally ready. <laughs> oh, it's been 18 months or so of promising people that we were going to have a bear bow tab, and finally it's ready. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, let's start from the ground up. Tell us about the two different sizes. Um, and the two different versions that we have. Okay, got. so correct. There's two sizes, a large and a small. Um, this tab is ambidextrous, so you don't have to pick a left or a right. So I'm sure all the, the retailers out there will be happy about that. Uh, so you pick the size tab you want. Yeah. Um, you can choose either the, the um, pro version, which comes in one of these cases, mm -hmm. uh, and comes with, uh, the, the plates come with three pieces of kangaroo, like our, our recurve tab does. Also, for those who don't want to use three pieces of kangaroo, it comes with a more regular thick suede that you can switch out the, the back two pieces of kangaroo and put in the, uh, the, the suede. Right. Uh, so you pick your tab. Um, if you don't want the, the, the pro version, there's um, a version that just has the, has the plates that are the same, the front piece of leather is the same, and you use the suede. And it comes in like a, a drop-tagged plastic yep. bag. So that, that drops quite a bit of uh, cost from it if you want to go down that road, if you don't want to use the three pieces of kangaroo. Then you uh, choose a ring. Um, like our target tab, uh, we make a range of sizes so you can pick the exact size that fits your finger. And we've added a couple of smaller ones now. Yeah, so this 15, is the, yeah. that's the smallest, Tiny. this is the largest. That's and right. we said there's 11 total? 11 sizes and one millimeter increments, all the way from 15 millimeters to 25 for those nice. people who've got sausage fingers. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> <Really big fingers. laughs> yeah. And show the differences in the material yeah, yeah. you get well, two that's right. in the kit. So when you buy your rings, they'll come in a box like this one, and there's two grades of plastic, or rubber as it is. Uh, the brown one is quite stiff, really hardy, yeah. and there's a softer one. Um, they both work great. You don't really feel when you're shooting it that one is really hard or anything, but one is really, really resilient, and the other one has a bit of give in it if that's how you'd like it to be. So you get them both, you get to try them, make a decision, you might find it at different times of the year, you'd prefer a stiffer one sure. or a softer one, and so on as your fingers, you know, get bigger with cold weather or whatever. You've got, yeah. you've got a bit of choice there. Um, so then, uh, so once you've got your two parts, yes. uh, you take the two plates uh, that make up the, the plate set apart, um, and you can position the ring in like a, a really big number of combinations of positions. Yes. So the ring will shift up and down uh, with these little toothed pieces, and the ring is offset on the base, so if you s turn it over, you then extend it way down the other end right. as well. Right. So we did that for an, uh, two main reasons. One, so that you can position the tab comfortably in your hand, uh, regardless of the size ring you're using, so that you can position the ring, you know, centrally on your hand, if that's right. how you want it, or a little bit down, or a little bit up. You know, often if you've just got one position, it always feels a bit funny, and you're always creeping your fingers up or down to get comfortable. This way you can set it up just where it feels right. Also, we know that some people uh, struggle to make the distance when they're you know, trying to find the maximum distance. And this allows you, if you are one of those people, to shift the plates further up on your hand and use the top of the plates as like a, an extended shelf. Right. Which won't move. There's no you know, fiddly little screws that make it fall, you know, move when you, you least need it to. It's, it's once it's set, it's set. If you needed to, you could trim a bit of leather down so that it truly has the plate sticking up as a, as a high shelf. Yes. Um, but, but for most people, that, that wouldn't be necessary. But you can really dial it in as to where the right spot for you is. So you get the right size ring, you've got the right size, right size leather in the right place on your hand. And once it's on, you know, if you've got the right, right ring size, it doesn't flop around on your hand. It's really yeah. snug, it's really comfortable. And it's going to come with, we have a prototype uh, markings on there for your finger crawl, but it's going to have... It'll come with a set of tapes. So yeah. rather than having uh, set indexes on the plates, uh, there'll be two different uh, scales. You can pick a larger larger spacing or a smaller one, or blank. You know, so you can make your own marks, because that, you know, as World Archery rules, you can, uh, you can make your own marks where you need them to be. Um, or for those who don't want to mess around with that kind of thing, they just want a nice, even spacing, there's the, the printed plate. Uh, and we store. talked about, for those who like it to be etched in, you can do that yourself with this material. You could, yeah. Being a, a, um, 
and it's, it's a material called acetal, um, it's very easy to work. So if you wanted to get out there with a needle file or a fine saw, you could put in some little notches exactly where you want them and th that would be permanent. Gotcha. Now, let's talk about the leather. This is obviously from Australia. This is a special leather to you. <laughs> exactly. This is kangaroo leather. And uh, when we uh, first started making our uh, recurve tab, we had a choice, you know. The very first ones I did, I did with cordovan. And you know, it's a great leather and it lasts forever and you know, it's been seen as the primo material for a long time. Right. The great thing about kangaroo is the consistency of the thickness. So when we buy, you know, 50 square yards of it, it's almost identical right through every skin. Which you don't get uh, with cordovan no, always. You get it, that's right. You know, the shells I were getting would range between uh, two to one mil from one end to the other on the cordovan. You know, right. which, and, and a lot of wastage as well. You know, so yeah, sure. It's, it's a really inefficient way to use leather. Kangaroo, it's, it's a, about 0.9 of a millimetre almost all the way through the skin. Um, it doesn't have a grain, a directional grain. We do cut it in a particular direction to, to maximise its stability, but it doesn't have that grain issue that other leathers have. Right. But the most exciting thing about kangaroo is the quickness of its uh, shooting in time. Yes, you know, talk about I've that. had tabs where, where uh, I've put a new tab together and the first arrow is on the center line. You know, like it's straight in the group, which right. shooting tens straight away or sixes on a, on a field face. Literally first arrow. Uh, you, can, you can almost shoot a tab in just by drawing it back and holding it, mm -hmm. holding the bow and letting down and there's a deep, sharp gro string groove straight away. Um, so unlike, you know, Cordovan where you can spend weeks sometimes getting that tab and sometimes yeah. tabs refuse to, you know, like you mm -hmm. get a tab that just won't break in and it won't take a fold, this stuff straight away. And so we, we feel that the, the, the leather, uh, the kangaroo leather is a, a, a consumable, you know, if you're trying to have your, your best result all the time, it's, it's a bit like a racing car tyre, you know, you, you don't wear them out until they burst, you know, you, right. you turn them over <laughs> as often as you need. And so you're able to do that because you're not scared of how long it's going to take to shoot in. Sure. You know, it's not like I've got a competition in two weeks, my old tab's looking pretty sad, but I'm really not game to, to turn it over now because yeah. I haven't got time to shoot it in. Too I'm not close. confident. Yeah, you can with these. And you can have two tabs, three tabs, four tabs, right. identical. Pick one up. We know people uh, who have been shooting um, World Cups who, who are shooting their spare tab by mistake. It's still, they're still shooting tens. Right. And, and that's why they didn't realise. It's only when they looked at it closely, they went, oh, that's my spare tab. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> so you can buy these, as you mentioned, as the, um, the tab and then the finger spacers, but there's pieces that you can get individually as well. Like our, uh, uh, our target tab, the, the recurve tab, you can buy blanks of leather to replace the leather if you wish. We have bulk packs of pre-cut leather. Uh, and we have both the kangaroo and the, the suede available in those spare packs as well. Um, gotcha. And so, yeah, as, as we said before, there's the, the pro version that comes in the case that has both leathers and the, the more affordable standard version that comes in a drop tag bag that has the kangaroo and the suede. Got it. All right, well, Simon, exciting new product from Simon Fairweather Tabs. Uh, barebow tab there now to add to your Olympic recurve tab. We're excited to have it here at Lancaster Archery. We certainly appreciate you coming in. Thank you for having us. Folks, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out a new video. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.